Right now you're into Urban Mix. Make sure you stay in tune with the best. What's up everybody? Thank you for watching us today. I mean, it's been a great weekend and I hope everybody had a good time. We are still actually running the promotion for the $100 winners. So if you've not subscribed, if this is the first time you're watching this show, please just go ahead, subscribe to the channel. If this is the first time, if you're already a member of this family, Urban Mix is always here to give you new, new stuff and anything that is going on. You want to be the first to see it. Viewers, we are still running the promotion for the first five minutes of posting this video on YouTube. All you have to do is just share with 50 people. Bring 50 people to be on this platform. Also become subscribers. If you're already a subscriber, that's all you have to do. But if this is the first time you're watching this show, please go ahead, click the subscribe button right there and just the bell right beside it. This will just prompt you anytime we put a new video. Whilst you're doing that, don't, don't forget to just to drop your comment right there. It's part of the requirement. Bringing 50 people to this platform, sharing your comment, just liking it, going on all our social media platform, just go there, drop your comment, drop your views, any suggestion that you want, just, just bring it on. Urban Mix, make sure you stay in tune with the best. And as always, you can see, looking sharp, looking clean, looking dapper, it's all about Urban Gear. Bring 50 people on board, let them subscribe, and also follow on Instagram, all social media platform, urban underscore mix. That's what it is, and be part of the $100 winners. I hope you had a great weekend. And how was your Mother's Day? I mean, it was massive. A lot of celebrities took on Instagram, Twitter, everywhere. I mean, they took it, uh, make it more fun, and I mean, we thank our mothers and we say big, big, big thank you for taking care of us. Somebody like me, like looking fresh like that. You know, there was a mother who just uh, natured me. I mean, I was stubborn a little bit, but hey, anyway, my mother did a good job. Even though the coronavirus is slowing everything down, like it's making, I mean, even not be able to go closer to most friends and families. A lot of celebrities took on internet, mostly on Instagram. Amongst them were like uh, medical, AMG medical, poof, 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 man. <laughs> the poof, poof, swag king Kong. He posted a picture of him and uh, his mom on Instagram. Richie Rich of Black Avenue Music also posted a picture of herself and her mom. Amelia Brobe also, also did a good one, also posted a picture of her mom. I mean, they look alike. I mean, the mom is even looking like a young lady. The Beam Nation boss, I'm talking about Stone Boy. Ah, boy. He also posted a beautiful statue of her late mom with an inscription. Let me, let me read the inscription for you so that I can see what I'm talking about. With the inscription of the, video, uh, of the post about her mom's statue, he said, made you a statue, mama, with a heart emoji. Oh, In America, I would say, oh, Ghana, how old are you? Say, I mean, Ghana don't have anything to like. In America, when you say something that is beautiful, you see the ladies, it's mostly the ladies, it's not the guys. Because they say, oh, you're beautiful, but they oh. So, something like that, they say, mama. I mean, they said, made you a statue, mama. So they, then you say, oh. Made you a statue, mama, with the heart emoji, you say, it's it's pretty beautiful golden statue of her late mom so stone boy was a great one just showing love even though your mom is still i mean the mom is not around but i mean showing love it doesn't matter whether they are here or not talking about that in nigeria a lot of celebrities also posted pictures of their moms and just with beautiful captions and stuff like that but i was a little bit confused because like nigeria has different Mother's Day. There are some days in the year that they will post mothers and stuff like that. I mean, when it gets to that point, I mean, I always ask, is there a different Mother's Day in Nigeria? I don't know that Nigeria Mother's Day and the one that everybody celebrates. I want a Nigerian to just go ahead and just explain to me what is the difference between the Nigerian one that everybody pushed their mom, some of the actors were dressed that like their mom and stuff like that. I just want to know. 
So in Nigeria with the Mother's Day, the video also posted a picture of himself and his mom. I mean, the time that he was like two years, man, the video has not changed. Even his kid picture, he's still looking fresh boy, baby face and stuff like that. So it was interesting with a beautiful caption, as you can see underneath, uh, it was very interesting. I mean, celebrities remembering their moms, those who are alive and not, I mean, it's still relevant. Always looking fresh and clean. Thank you for always being part of the family. As I told you earlier, we are still running the promotion for the hundred dollars. So please, if you're out there, I mean, within this five minutes, if, you, if you've not done it, then you are losing out. Just go ahead, subscribe if you are a new person. If you are not, just go ahead, share your comment, bring new 50 subscribers to this channel and just go ahead, go on all our social media platform. Specifically, we need you to come here on youtube just subscribe bring new 50 people be part of the family drop your comment share like what else you want to do just anything that you need to do to support this channel just go ahead and do it after that i mean drop your comment and follow us on instagram urban underscore mix and all you have to do is just give us your information and you're going to be part of the hundred dollar winners great time celebrating our mothers over the weekend let's come back to the united states a lot of a lot of celebrities also did massive just posting pictures i'm talking about a lot i mean celebrities from movie actors musicians producers who else everybody i mean everybody was just celebrating their mom i'm talking about dj khaled he did a massive thing for the wife and i mean man it was enjoyable did you see it? You did not? Just watch it. Mother's Day, everyone. Happy Mother's Day, everyone. Come on. Honey, 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 honey. Come here, quick. I'm partying, come here. Come on. Honey. Honey, honey, honey. It's Mother's Day. I love you. We doing a big, we doing a big Mother's Day. Hold on. We're gonna pop some champagne, baby. We're gonna pop some champagne. Ace of Spades, let's go. Happy Mother's Day. Look at this cheesecake right here. Oh my god. Oh my goodness, Asad. Wow, <laughs> chocolate cake too. Yeah. That's grandma's favorite. Yeah. That's grandma's favorite. Happy Mother's Day. DJ Khaled, man. We the best. He's always making things the best way. I mean, you know what? I'm going to do this one of the days for my wife. You know, I'm going to do it. Don't worry. Uh, man, producer is confusing me. What? What? I can do it. I mean, yeah. I mean, just getting a helicopter, writing something beautiful, just a cake. And man, I, I, I promise. I promise on this show that it will be a day that I'll put a video like that celebrating my wife like that so hey if you're out there pray for me to get enough money to put all this thing together i mean times and season it's all about urban mix and if you're here i mean just enjoy the show subscribe like our page follow us on instagram and be part of the hundred dollar winners still on the mother's day a lot of celebrities here in the united states including michael b jordan i'm talking about the wakanda Wakanda movie star. He posted this picture as you can see on the screen. I mean with a beautiful mom and I mean I mean this weekend was was more of like knowing the celebrities and their moms and their dads and stuff like that. It, it was beautiful. I'm talking about Justin Timberlake. I mean the guy that can break dance and stuff like that. He also posted a picture of himself and his mom and I mean a lot of inscription and some captions I mean a lot of people were celebrating their mom 
Still in the United States, I'm talking about the Mother's Day weekend special where everybody was celebrating their mom, Michael Blankson, aka the king of TD Tuesday, the king of Twerk Thursday. You don't know that guy. That is his picture right there. Over the weekend, got shut down. Not shut down like a gun shut down, but like it was a story shut down. When a Nigerian immigrant now in Spain came on his Instagram live, share a story about her life journey traveling all the way back from nigeria to spain spent over five years can you believe that i mean i know it's a lot of guys that do this stuff but like i was even surprised i mean let me share with you oh yes no, are you nigerian? I, what are you from what country i'm a nigerian oh nice yeah you like spain you like spain yeah spain is good what do you do there? You work? Yeah, I'm a nanny. What, yeah. are you wearing, what are you wearing tonight? What are you wearing? What do you have on? What am I wearing? Yes. I'm wearing PJs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on PJs. <laughs> yeah. I actually want to share a story. You want to share a story? Yeah. Okay, let me hear. Okay. So, um... Where should I start from? Okay. I was 15 years old when I left my family to Europe. So I traveled by land. And um, what the I journey was... You by land to, from Nigeria? Yeah. How? By, by land, bus, trekking, running... And um, finally, I I used the um, boat. I entered with um, Zodiac. You know Zodiac? What's Zodiac? Lampa Lampa. They call it Lampa Lampa. <laughs> what is it? Uh, you know, it's true Morocco, Maroc. All right, okay, okay. Yeah. So uh, I left my parents and um, my mom gave me her special wrapper. You know wrapper? Are right, you from Nigeria? Right, you tie it around your waist, right? Yeah, a wrapper, okay. yes. Right. So uh, she gave it to me. So as in, it was her best wrapper. So she gave it to me while I traveled along um, by land. So when I got to uh, Duruku, I passed through Agadez, Koni. I got to Libya. Mm -hmm. Then from Libya to Morocco, mm -hmm. I got to Magnaya. Then there, I had my baby. I have a child. At 15 years old? At 17. Then I was 17 when I had my baby. Okay. Why yeah. Who? Who's the father? Uh, the father is a Nigerian, but we are not together. Okay. Yeah. So I'm I'm here to give uh, other lady, young ladies um hope of tomorrow. Like I never really expected I was going to be here today, and um, I'm happy for all I've been through. I'm still. Uh, hoping for a better tomorrow and for the fact that I am alive because so many people died in my trip coming to Europe. So many people died. They fell um, starve of water yeah. and a lot of things and other people died in the sea. So I'm just happy that I am alive today and no matter what you are going through in life there is always light at the end all right now you know what if you ever saw this movie called deadly voyage no it actually it came on on hbo had like omar apps you know it's, it's about it was actually what happened in ghana how these mm -hmm. like, how these teenage boys snuck on a boat you know the boat that brings stuff to like the port they snuck mm -hmm. on the boat because what happened they paid people and people sneak mm -hmm. them on a boat and it was a high yeah. in this boat to this book mm -hmm. get to Europe, and when they get to Europe, they're supposed to get out and, like, you know, find yeah. their way through Europe. Mm -hmm. And while they were on the boat, um, the guys, they, it was it was a French boat. It was France. 
they, they was able to catch some of them on the boat and they started to shoot them and threw hmm. them over the they threw them over the water some of them one guy yeah. survived through it all and right in time for the boat to as soon as the boat got to um got to port he was able to get out and tell his story he told his story that's how they're able to make a movie out of it so yeah. I definitely understand what you're going through I mean it's a risky very very risky things that a lot of our um you know our young Africans I didn't know girls did stuff like this I told you guys did this no girls too girls too that's crazy I had a buddy that I um that, that made it through to Philadelphia the same way on a boat he got on a boat that came to, you know from Ghana to um to United States and he was able to make it through there a lot of times they don't make it through I had to pay my way on the boat yes I paid. So somebody just took your money and then they probably snuck you into the country pretty much. Mm, no, not really. It's uh, another story entirely. The one you said is different and mine is so, so different because in Morocco, you have to pay. Then they put in a Zodiac with uh, a, a guy that will drive you in. But mm -hmm. we're like uh, 50 in a boat, 50. And when we got to the the sea shock, the, the the people went back and left us there. So we had to move, enter, like just go. So the water started carrying us inside and going and going and going. We got to a place whereby we had to make calls for rescue. We called rescue for like ten hours, no rescue. So we stayed in the water for a day, a day and a day. We saw ships passing, but they didn't rescue us. We were calling for help. And my baby was just one year old. I was having her at my back. I backed her. You know how African women carry yeah, yeah, their yeah, child? Yeah. yeah. So I, we were all tasty. We couldn't drink the water because it was salty, so salty. Before we now uh, got rescue. Spanish rescue came and they rescued us. It was really crazy because the water was really bad. The water was not good. The water was, you know, pouring inside the Zodiac and we were bailing water out, bailing water out. So by the time we got rescue, my baby was already sick because no food, nothing, not, nothing to eat. So when we got rescue, they started treating her and treating me as well. She has a very interesting story that needs to develop into something. You know, it's it's just crazy what black people have to go through. Not just black people in America, we guys are going through with the racism, but what Africans have to go through across the world, you know. Look how they got treated in China. You know, they just, like I told you about that one story about the movie called Deadly Voyage, which is a true story about four friends, teenage boys, pay their way through getting on a boat. And then I guess even when they, they got caught on the boat, they hid in a boat because the news going high for like, I mean, those boat trips from Africa to the States has to be every bit of a month, three weeks. So they're supposed to like hide in the boat for that long and eat and survive without nobody knowing they're on a boat. That's tough, man. Things that we go through just to get a better life for our family. Sometimes we lose our life doing it. You know, just just be grateful for every everything you have. Even at the point, Michael couldn't even continue on the show again he has to shut it down and go to sleep. Let me just cry. Be my sleep. <laughs> so, I mean, this story was so touching to the stand that, like, people were even ready to just start to make some fans for the lady. But, hey, she was like, no, I'm just here to share this story for a lot of people to know that it doesn't matter your situation right now. Just have some hope, have some faith, and push forward. I normally know that it's guys that do this stuff, but like for a lady at the age of 15, spend five years with pregnancy to go through this, man. I mean, to watch the full story, just go on our page, 
here right now and just watch the story and just share your comment and also if you're from nigeria hey you are part of the family just share with friends wherever you are i mean let us know your comment and let us know what you think about this show we are very happy for you to be here every week and we thank you for being part of this family over the weekend jq one of the music producers i mean way back book back days 4s4 days cash through under fire days i mean it was massive for him those times you when you see jq he was one of the toppest producers in ghana he actually organized a show for Castro celebrating his birthday. They did one last two weeks and this weekend he did another one, bringing a lot of celebrities that are like ahead of them for like years now, talking about Abruanana and Kase, uh, 4S4. I mean, 4S4 is still in the line. I mean, a lot of them, they came online, Instagram live, share stories, how they met Castro and stuff that they did with Castro. I mean, as of now, we don't know where Castro is, whether he's alive or not, but hey, it was time for them to celebrate him and share some stories that they had with him. Tell them about Castro, things you didn't say about Castro, people want to know more. Tell Castro, dear me, I'm dear, tell me, I'm dear, I'm <laughs> I think the the was 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 a bit sweet, not like a bit. It was really sweet until we got to the latter part of conflict here and there. So we've, we've gone back and forth here and there, like you know, from from your house, from the studio, from who is washing the car. Hey, but you know, sitting... you know, you were the one washing the car. But Castro was the one who had the baby from the car. <laughs> Chiku. Chiku. No. It, it got to a time. He wanted to take my position. He wanted, <laughs> he wanted to sit, <laughs> sit in front. And, oh, yeah, I before you have a front part. You see me, sorry. Tell me. I was the car. <laughs> the day I got pissed was the day I. Me, me, too, said, I'm sorry, four o'clock. I'm not going to call you. I'm not going to call you. I'm going to say, hey. I fast. I think we need to do a documentary about Castro. Yeah, we need to do a documentary about him. Yeah. That is how we went from North Kadeshi to uh, Demod. Demod. What? what? Demod. Hey, Demod. Well, yeah. We met, we met that from Do <laughs> you want me to? Do you want me to say it? Oh, you pay. <laughs> <laughs> you know I, I can make you stop you know I can make you stop this IG life. <laughs> Today is Castro. Tomorrow will be me and you. So we'll talk no, about no. that when it's me and you. It was great seeing all these guys and sharing stories about Castro and stuff like that. But Charlie, recycling condom pa Charlie. Hey boys are here new man. It's interesting to know that, hey, these guys are all still around, they are all doing good. And thank you for being part of the show. This is your boy Prince and also your host on Urban Mix. Make sure you stay in tune with the best. As I told you, the promotion is still ongoing for the first five people come on, on here within the first five minutes, bringing 50 people on this channel. That's all you have to do. If you're already subscribed, you don't need to subscribe again. So just bring new 50 people, let them be a subscribers and be part of the family, support the show, and our way of saying thank you is to be part of the hundred dollar we know we, we're not saying that we just setting up hundred dollars to pay you people no but the hundred dollars is there for viewers like you who are being part of the family sharing our videos following us on instagram and just commenting on here we want you to be part of this show so all the family members of urban makes all our subscribers wherever you are in ghana in nigeria in south africa in here in the united states Wherever you are, we just want you to do a special shout out to all your friends. 30 seconds of yourself, giving shout out to Urban Mix producers, giving shout outs to your friends and families. We're gonna play it on Urban Mix on all our social media platforms. So just go ahead, a member of this show, if you're watching us, I mean, it doesn't matter. Just go ahead, subscribe to the channel and just do a short video of yourself, like 30 second video, 
just giving shout outs to your friends and family wherever you are we're going to put it on the show see you next week and thank you for being part of this show make sure you stay in tune with the best